Hey guys, it's Kevin Haunt Dermot here, and it's Father's Day. I was sitting down watching a Phantasm Marathon, and there were a lot of cemetery scenes, and it got me thinking to the new 2023 season theme for Spirit Halloween, which is Spirit Hollow Cemetery. And in that video that I did, there were a bunch of tombstones with names of some of the new animatronics coming out, and it got me thinking. I checked on the website, and there were um, now on the website there are tombstones with the names and descriptions of these animatronics. I found a few of them, and I want to take a look at them, and I also want to show you some images of what I think these animatronics might look like. So why don't we take a look at that? <laughs> Guys, I could not find this one on the website. The first animatronic that I want to take a look at, whose name is on a tombstone in the video, it's Slim. And if you think about it, with Killer Clowns being one of the themes that Spirit Halloween is covering, I could only speculate that the animatronic is from the movie Killer Clowns from Outer Space and none other than the character Slim. The next animatronic I wanted to take a look at was one that is actually a returning animatronic. I did find this one on the website, and I do have the description here. No one wanted to play house, dollies, or even hide-and-seek with her at Mrs. Brower's home for wayward girls. She waited and waited, asked everyone with her sweet voice to join her for a game. But they all scurried away. The longer she stood there asking, the faster they ran away. Now, anyone curious enough to pity the poor girl for a game ends up playing their final turn. Guys, looks like Creepy Rising Doll is returning for the 2023 season. This is an awesome animatronic. I own the short one and I love it. So I can't wait to see the new version of it in 2023. I can't wait. So guys, the next animatronic I want to examine is one that I did find a description for, and it's for the Grave Watcher. The Grave Watcher is eternal. Keeping a tormented vigil over the dead is their punishment for past sins against the underworld that even the devil himself can't speak of. So now, Grave Watcher waits endlessly for their demise, forced to lull the dead to sleep night after night, listening to the unholy moaning of the thousands of corpses taunting them while Grave Watcher begs to feel the icy grip of death for one final slumber. Guys, this one's hard to think of what it might look like. I've heard a couple different speculations. I believe it was Hauntformer that said maybe it is a reskin of Nightcrawler because he's only three feet tall. So I was thinking, what might he look like? I was thinking maybe a Grim Reaper looking character hidden behind a tombstone, possibly. That's my thought because he's only three feet tall, but hey, it's only a speculation. Guys, I was able to find this next one on the website. I did find his description as well. And it seems like Spirit Halloween has a theme for this particular kind of animatronic every year. Of course, it is a clown. This one's name is Heckles, and I have his description here, and let's check that out. Heckles was one of the best comedians on the Borscht Belt circuit. Cutting down all contenders with his quick wit and razor-sharp insults until one night, a little too full of himself and wine, Heckles took on a new comedian who reduced him to shreds. Now, with no confidence left and laughed out of the biz, he hustles balloons for a few bucks. Unfortunately, the kids and their parents don't know that he fills the balloons with poisonous gas. Anything to get the last laugh. All right, guys, I figured... I had to use a sinister looking clown with a balloon based on that description. So here's what I think possibly heckles might look like. What do you think? Guys, this next one I was also able to find on the website. I also found a description for it. And this one is Desmodus. And of course, looking at the image on the tombstone and its description, which we're going to listen to in a second, I would speculate it's a bat. So we're going to take a look at the description and then we're going to show you an image of what it might look like. Some are just born mean. The bloodthirsty bat was born deep in the caves of the rainforest, emerging after years of gorging on unsuspecting forest dwellers. As his hunger grew, so did his size. His appetite is insatiable, so he spends nights stalking all manner of victims to drain them of their precious blood. 
You'd be wrong if you think you're safe just because you walk upright. Humans are his favorite meal. Guys, after reading the description on Desmodus, I think he's more likely a giant bat. Originally, I thought he might be a vampire, but he's most likely just a giant bat, and he's most likely going to be hanging upside down. What do you think? All right, guys, this next one I was also able to find on the website, and I also have a description for it. This one is Deathstalker, so let's check out his description, and then we're going to check out the image of what I think he might possibly look like. The Death Stalker is scratching at your window. He is growling beneath the floorboards and is the thing hiding under your bed. The Death Stalker is the shadow hiding behind the abandoned doll factory. He's clawing his way up the basement stairs, scudding around in the attic and breathing down the back of your neck while you wait alone. Late at night at the bus stop. But most of all, the Death Stalker is hungry. He is ravenous, starving, and salivating over your bones. The Death Stalker smells your fears and turns them into living nightmares before he devours what's left of your mind as a midnight snack. Yum. Guys, based on that description, the Death Stalker is definitely a creature of some sort. And if you look at the tombstone in the video, the image has a claw mark on it. So I think that is likely a... Clue, and I'm thinking most likely it's some kind of werewolf creature. All right, guys, so this next one is another one that I also found on the website, and it also came with a description. This one is for the animatronic Blackheart, and the image that I decided to go with came from the description from the website, so let's check it out. Ava should have been married in her old-fashioned village. She was already considered a spinster by the age of 25. Her friends had all found love, and she ached to be next. As the sun set on another lonely evening, Ava succumbed to her last resort. According to the local lore, if she climbed into a freshly dug grave in the town cemetery at exactly midnight, her true love would show up at sunrise and revive her with a kiss. When Ava awoke the following morning with her lips pressed against the cold, dead kiss of her undead master, she learned the true meaning of being careful about what you wish for. Guys, this is my speculation based on the description. Okay, Ava is obviously the character who is most likely the black heart. She's just a woman, so it's hard to believe she would be six foot six inches tall. So here's what I think happened. Her experience in the cemetery killed her through her loneliness, and now she is an apparition, and she is altered in appearance based on the torment that she has gone through. And this is what she now looks like as she has become the Black Heart. What do you guys think? All right, guys, so I was able to find one more animatronic that was shown on the tombstones from the spirit halloween sneak peek video and i was able to find it online along with its description and this one is hell spawn let's take a look at his description and i'm going to show you what i think he looks like based on the image from the tombstone and also his description even the devil needs a hand after a life of sin lies and deceit a world of endless pain and suffering was the inevitable outcome for his life. Ever the scammer and con artist, he managed to strike a deal with the devil. Now reborn as the powerful demon Hellspawn, he sits at the right hand of Satan himself. Every night, Hellspawn emerges from the inferno to cheat, connive, and convince new souls to do the devil's bidding, resist his temptations, or suffer greatly as he drags you to hell. Guys, based on that description and also the fact that Hellspawn is described as being only 4 foot 9 inches tall, he's either crouching or he's maybe just short, but he has to look demonic, and so this is what I fathom Hellspawn might look like. All right, guys, just wanted to show you what we speculate some of the animatronics from Spirit Halloween this year might look like based on the Spirit Halloween sneak peek video that came out the other day and also the hidden animatronics found on the website along with the descriptions for the names found on some of the tombstones from that video. And guys, of course, feel free to comment. Let us know what you think. What are your thoughts on 
our speculation of what these images might look like. Anyway, guys, hope you liked the video. Happy haunts. See you on the next video. And subscribe to our channel. Bye, guys.